Hello everybody, it's Jim the Gentleman Crafter and I am here to show you how to do a delusional tag tonight. I've never done it before and I'm going to try it out and just thought I'd bring you along with me so I hope you enjoy it. Here we go! Okay, here I'm back. Um, so, the way I usually start my delusional tags and the way Diane says to start delusional tags is spritz it with water. One. And we'll see what we can do, y'all. So I'm spritzing it with water. And I have chosen just three random colors. I don't even know what they'll look like together. It's pure sunshine, vibrant turquoise, and crushed grape. Okay, I'm very familiar with crushed grape. One day you'll know why. Okay, here we go. So a puddle here, puddle there. I'm going to put a little sunshine up in here. And now... Maybe a little dab right there. I'm going to go back and put some vibrant turquoise there. And get maybe just a dash more water like that. Okay? She says she wants it. She likes it to run. You want to see it run. A little bit more right there. Right there. <laughs> Can you tell I'm on a diet? It's making me crazy. Okay, so next thing. Oh, I forgot my paper towels. My kitchen roll. I got my kitchen roll. So, I'm going to put this on top of that, like so. I'm trying to get too messy, but it's just going to be the way it is. So, I have been drinking gallons of water. I haven't had any coffee in a day and a half, and it's killing me. Oops, sorry. So... I am on water. So that's what that looks like. Isn't that pretty? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to do. I think... I think I'll leave it alone. And I'm going to dry it. Oh! Okay, on this one, you know what? What, what I'm going to do to try to make this work is I'm gonna do this side as well. So we'll just see what happens. So put some turquoise. Yeah, I'm gonna do one there like that. And then I'm gonna put some yellow. And then I'm gonna splash it with crushed grape. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of water. Just do it backwards. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'll coat the back side of this one too, so we'll have a twofer. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, so this is going to be... Um, I wanted this double sided and I'll show you why in a little bit. I think if I can make this work, um, we'll need uh, the front and back covered. So, sorry everybody. And pull it up. And I'm going to wipe this off. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to put it on one of these. I'm going to use it in reverse on this side. <clears throat> like that. Pull that up and wipe it off. Then I'm going to get my heat gun back out. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. And you'll see um, how it pulls up and bleaches out. The water kind of bleaches out. Uh, and you can see the letters of the stencil that I used. So we're just coming up with the background. Okay, so there's that one. And see, that's the way it looks. Sorry. 
cool. I love that, don't y'all? And then this one was the reverse of that, and it's just going to do um, a little bit of background stuff here. It's just going to add a little texture to the back. Okay, and then I'm going to do the front of this one with, uh, uh, let's do numbers on this one. You know what, Leon? You know, who knows? I don't know. Let's just play. So, doesn't have to be perfect. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab piece of paper and cover that up. That way I can hold it down better. Am I mumbling tonight? I am. Sorry. So water here. Pull that up. Pull this up and reverse it down here. Like that. Pull it up. Oh, I got some paint, so that's kind of cool too, though. Did you see that? I had some of, of the white uh, paint on it, so it's not really white paint, but you'll know about it soon. It's... So I'm gonna dry that off. Cool, okay, so that is that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna grab um, some background stamps. I might do something fun, like just spritz some of this on there. Let me grab some of that purple. And do some of this action. Maybe, I always get the nozzle in the wrong spot. I'll spray myself. Okay, and then I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to see if I can make it worse. <laughs> there we go. Just add a little background. Goodness. Okay, so that's that. Let me grab this and clean it off. Okay, I'm going to draw these. Isn't that cool how the holes? It looks like a mess, but you know, it really, I think it's pretty. All the different colors. Okay, I'm dying a heat stroke in here now. It was cold, now it's getting hot. Okay. So that's what I love about Di uh, Diane stuff, delusions, um, is that you know you don't have to be perfect and you just kind of let yourself go and be free and have fun and it it you know it's your piece of art and it's whatever you want it to be. So that's what makes me happy and that's what I needed tonight. I needed to escape and get away and have fun. Okay, so we're just building up the background. Okay. All right. So, and now let's do a little background stamps, uh, stamping. And I'm using um, archivers, uh, archival ink. Sorry, on. Uh, on the background. Let's see if I can find some background stamps. I'm 
go somewhere. Uh, backgrounds, yes. Christmas ones. Here's some. Okay. So, and they're nasty and dirty. Okay, I am going to grab my um, stamping thing. If I can find it. Where is it? Stamping plate. Lost the stamping plate. Okay. This is going to be a 30 minute look for the stamping plate. I'll be right back. Okay, you know what? I need it. <laughs> I do need it later, but I'm going to just do this. So, um, I am glad. I'm going to put this over here. Just stamp some over it. Um, to be out and having fun doing this tonight, I tell you. So just picking up some of those little background pieces. Okay, and on this one, I think I'm just going to use dots. I might use dots on both. Why not? Make it really busy. So, that's that. There's a little background noise going on there. Okay, and I'm going to get my wet wipe, or paper towel, whatever, and clean this off a little bit. I don't really clean them very well. So, I'm glad, uh, what I was saying a while ago is I'm glad y'all are here to, to join me. I'm just hanging out. I'm hanging out in my studio, not doing anything for anybody, just having a good time playing, and so... I don't have a plan of what I'm doing. I've got an idea of what I want to do, but um, it may not come out in May. So I'm just out, I'm just playing. So that's all. Just a disclaimer. How's that? So I'm going to set that uh, black in there. Now, I'm going to pick which one I really want to be my front and my back. So, I'm going to say this will be the back, and I'm going to make this the front, okay? So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get my cutter. Well, you know what? Let's, let's do, let's do borders. Want to? Border edge. Well, let's do some leaves. I don't like to do some leaves. Let's do some, some leaves. Why not? Leafage. We'll go all the way down here. Every time I see these leaves, they remind me of, of, of her because this is the first thing I ever saw her do, and I was just enchanted when she did it. That was so cool. So I'm inking up my, my uh, stamp, coming in from the corner, there-ish. Come down the side a little bit more here on this one. that maybe. Let's have some come in a little bit. There we go. Okay, so that's going to be the back of the tag, right? You see the leaves? And then I'm going to um, let's think. Go back on the front part, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm going to make this the border. I'm going to put the border on this one. Let's see if I can find one. Let's do, let's do, let's do this one. What do you think? Okay, oops. 
pull that off. Put that on. All right, you know what? I don't know. Hold on. Let's just do this one. Okay, I'm gonna take this and ink it up. And I'm going to, I don't think I'll work on the sides first. You know, this is gonna be cut, so I'm gonna come down to here. going to take my paper, which I've lost, into this. Now, I'm going to do the same thing for top. I told you what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to pull this off. You know, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Let's just go ahead and cut it. I'm going to cut the top part of this tag off. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this in the middle with those papers again. Let's see if I can do this and hold it. Let's see if I can get that hump in the middle. Oops. Well, that's okay. And then um, I'm gonna dry it a little bit. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, cut it in half. So it is what? Around a five and eight, so two and a sixth, I mean two and whatever sixteenths, right down the middle. Okay. And then, what I'm going to do, I think I'll take a marker, a black distress marker, somewhere. Let's see if I can put one. Which one? Turn it down. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the here and just color this in with black my edge. I might, you know what, I might do all the edges while I'm at it. And of course I don't have my glasses on when I do stuff like this, so I can't see what I'm doing. I'm going to grab some. Okay, here we go. Now we're cooking. So two pounds. Did I already say that already? Stupid diet. 
two pounds this morning. I guess that's that's okay for the beginning. Okay, so that's going to be my front, okay? And then this is going to go on top of it. And what we're going to do is we're going to add um, some hinges to make it open, okay? So that's what we're working on. So let me grab some... Let me grab something. What can I grab? I guess... How about another tag that has been some paper? That's that's okay. Let me use this. It's just some stuff that I've worked on. So um, let me grab my cutter and I'm gonna cut about one inch piece off of here and another one. Okay. And then I'm going to score them in the middle. Well, we'll need this in a second, so I'm going to put it somewhere on top of my laptop. There we go. Uh, score. I'm going to score them a half inch, just like my regular uh, structure strips, right? Come on, bud. Okay, so that takes care of that. Okay, then I need to cut them down to size. Let's say, let's measure. This is uh, let's say nine and three eighths. Almost nine. Let's do nine and three eighths. So nine and three eighths, my cutter is on top of my laptop. Nine and three eighths. Nine and a quarter. I can't see. Nine and a quarter, nine and three eighths right there. Okay, should throw this way. And then this can go away. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to I'm going to grab my scallop. You know what? Let's just grab a corner punch. Well, I'll grab a scallop. I'll scallop punch this on one of the sides, just one side. Can y'all see that? I'm sorry. I've got it over here. Just on one side. Okay, then what I'll do is I think I'll get some score tape, quarter inch, whatever you got. And I'm going to fold this. Let me see, how am I going to fold that? If I want that to do, this will go under, this will go on top. So actually, I'm going to put some score tape on this side, on the back side of the uh, punched corner edge uh, piece. So did y'all see that? So it's a one inch piece, scored in half. I, I uh, scalloped the ends with the uh, We Are Memory Keepers um, scallop punch. And I'm putting tape on the back side of the, the scalloped edge. And then on this one, I'm gonna put it on the top. And then here I'm going to do the same thing, I believe. Okay. And then uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this and fold it in. So the good sides together fold it in really good. And I might even get my little doobie honker out of here. And 
the same thing on this one. And I think I'll go ahead and, and blacken these as well. Glasses for this. So blacken the edges if you want. You may not want to. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to, let's see, let's do the back first. So let's do this one. So I'm gonna pull the back part of the tape off and I'm gonna put it down toward the bottom here and up to that edge and do that. Okay, so I've got that flap there. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna take this the long straight piece without the scallops off first which is the right side, right? And I'm putting it to the back side. So, and, then, and I'm starting it at the bottom, so it'll even up. Okay. And then I'm going to um, take the left and right pieces, like that, yeah. I'm going to pull off the tape of this one and uh, line this up with the edge there. Walk it down to this edge like that and I think so that's that side right? And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. panels now to open up. Cool, huh? I think. And then um, we can decorate the inside however we want with some stamped images. So we could keep that closed. Um, you know what we could do? Let's just punch holes. What do you think? Something easy. Um, hole punch. Hole punch. Hole punch. Where are the hole punches? Well, let's just use this little one. No, here's here's the big one. It's maybe too big. You know, you know what I love to do with this? Is that I love this. And a lot of people said that you can't see what you're doing. I lift that up so I can see what I'm punching. Okay? So that's what I do. Now, I'm going to see if I can get... Um, it's about five and an eighth. We said that already, didn't we? So let's say up wise, let's make it about five inches up and um, five inches and probably half inch in and I'm going to get, well, let's just use this, five inches in, half inch in, well, maybe, should I do a quarter? Let's do, let's do, let's do a quarter. Well, let's do a half. Let's do three eighths. <laughs> So at five. So right there, I'm going to mark. And on this side, I'm coming in at five. And I'm marking at three eighths. In. So right there, right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my hole punch, go up to those, see if I can line it up. And y'all won't be able to see this very well, but. I see it. I'm lining up my holes. <clears throat> but you see how you can see? I can see where I'm going now. I've marked it. I can see it with this up. And it's supposed to really catch the, um, the trash from it. You know what I mean? But if you open that up, you can see perfectly. Okay? So, there's that. Okay, and now I'm going to grab... Look at it. It's totally off. I complete. You can't see it, <laughs> but that's okay. That's just fun. Okay, let's get some. Let me get some ribbon. I'll be right back. Okay, I found ribbon. Now yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get some of this. Um, um, 
yellow. What is it? Sun, sunshine. Yellow sunshine. And I'm going to spritz all. Put a little purple in it. A bit more sunshine. Okay. And I am going to wipe that off. Okay, so, and then I'm going to dry it. Okay, that about does it. Okay, so for the front, what we could do is put one one in here and go ahead and maybe tie it. It's still gonna go, it's still gonna be standing up, but that's that's cool. I keep pulling it back toward me. I'm sorry. Okay, and I'm just gonna do a little bow here. Something like that, and then you know I'm gonna make this a little bit more contrasty, like that maybe. Okay. put this in the top. Maybe overkill. And if it is, just take it out. I don't know yet. Okay, um, scissors. Here they are. Thanks for coming by again, y'all, um, to visit my YouTube channel and uh, my blog. I appreciate it very much. Um, it's been nice trying to get back in the, in the groove of uh, uh, crafting for fun. Everything is fun. Sorry, that was really not right. I mean, craft for me, really, crafting fun things for us. Uh, something like that. So, and then you can um, use your stamps and stamp it up on the inside and keep it um, decorated. I mean, to decorate it up, use some of your stamps to play with it on the inside and the outside. But that is it. Okay. So, once again, pull this open. Oh, and I think I knotted it. No, I didn't. There we go. Pull that open. And you've got your kind of whatever you want in there. So it could be a card, too, really. And then, um, but like I was saying, just go ahead and finish decorating it with um, um, delusion stamps and all kinds of good stuff. But it's a fun way to do kind of a, a panel door um, tag. Okay? So that's all I've got for you tonight. Thanks a bunch, and thanks for coming by. I hope you all have a great night. Bye.